President-elect Joe Biden is laying out his plan to combat the growing health and economic crises. Tonight, Mr. Biden will make his case for what he calls the American Rescue Plan. The proposal will cost $1.9 trillion. It is the first step in his effort to get America back on its feet. The package includes three components, a national vaccination program, relief for families, and support for communities hardest hit by the pandemic. Joining me now with a breakdown is CBS News reporter Sarah Ewall Weiss. Uh, Sarah, welcome. It's nice to see you again. So this rescue package, as we just said, includes those three major components. Let's start with vaccinations. What details do we have about that program? Sure. So the president-elect has long stated that he sees economic recovery going hand in hand with getting this virus under control. So it's no surprise that the first prong of this plan is doing just that. He wants to propose a 400 billion dollar plan, which includes a national program for vaccinations. They're looking to set up vaccination centers across the country, as well as vaccination mobile units to reach areas that are hard to get to. Another component for combating the virus is scaling up the testing. They have $50 billion for just that. And they also want to increase the public health workforce. They're calling for funds for 100,000 additional workers. Those are just some of the many components. Other things we've seen in this are uh, different ways to address the disparities in health. We've seen that this pandemic has disproportionately impacted people of color. So this is a part of their plan to address that. They also have funds to track these new strains of the coronavirus, as well as develop further treatments. Something that is interesting as a part of this ability to combat the coronavirus is a $170 billion to help safely reopen schools. And they also are calling for emergency paid leave as a part of this COVID combating prong of their plan. Interesting. So as yes, yeah, Sarah, more on the economic side now, what is he proposing when it comes to direct relief for families? Yeah, so Mr. Biden has stated publicly on multiple occasions that he supports those $2,000 checks directly to Americans. In this proposal, there are $1,400 checks for Americans. That coupled with those $600 checks we've already seen would bring us to those $2,000 checks. Another aspect of direct relief for Americans is extending those unemployment insurance benefits. They want to expand those through September. Right now, some of those are going to run out in mid-March. Additionally, they want to increase them. Right now, those are $300 a week. They want to expand them to $400 a week. So that is a slight increase for what people will see, those who have unemployment benefits. Other aspects that they're really interested in focusing on is making sure people can stay in their homes. They want to extend the eviction and foreclosure moratoriums for Americans through September before those run out. They're also looking at assistance for utilities, for those who can't make their water or energy bills. And of course, there's food assistance in this. They're looking at these long lines. We've all seen them of people waiting in line for mm -hmm. food banks. So they wanna provide funds to make sure people are not going hungry in this country. Additionally, there are expanded benefits to help parents get access to childcare, obviously with schools closed, people staying home, that's been something that many parents have been needing. And a part of that is including, is increasing those childcare tax credits, something that is stated in this bill as well for Americans. And that's something that the vice, excuse me, president elect has been saying on the campaign trail is he wants a $15 minimum wage. So that is stated here. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, Sarah, these are all things that we know just from, as you point out, coverage, right? So desperately needed because we do remember seeing, and we all have seen those images of long lines of cars at food banks, for instance. And we've heard stories about parents who simply are in this very difficult position because of child care issues or people who are about to be kicked out of their homes or, or their apartments. You know, the question is, how confident are they that they can actually get this passed? 
So senior officials with the Biden administration today said they, they are confident. Um, and what they're hoping is that lawmakers see the urgency at this time. They're arguing right now that doing too little will be far greater harm than doing too much in terms of their ability later to dig out of a, a worse economic situation. So they're trying to invest a lot early. They said that they've been speaking with members of Congress uh, while they created this plan. They've also been speaking with government governors and mayors of cities across the country to try and find out what they need. It is a $1.9 trillion bill. And we are not, that's not a surprise. Uh, Mr. Biden said just last week he expected it to be in the trillions. So it all comes down to what lawmakers are willing to do. Biden will have a majority House and Senate, Democrats in the House and the Senate. And Nancy, Speaker Pelosi and Senator Schumer just released a statement this evening sa saying that they will try and turn Biden's vision into legislation immediately. They will said they'll get to work. Um, but it comes down to these individual components. Senator Manchin of West Virginia, a Democrat, said he opposed those $2,000 checks unless they became more targeted previously. We'll see where he goes with these $1,400 checks. There's also a component that is $350 billion for state and local governments for funding for things like having the police and having firefighters and obviously meeting their budget needs. And that has been something that has received a lot of pushback. So it'll be something to keep an eye on. All right, so many pieces to this, but uh, I know uh, millions of Americans have been watching to see long before now what Washington would do to try and help these uh, in these desperate times. All right, Sarah Ewell-Weiss, great to see you again, Sarah. Thank you so much. Thank you.